In today's video, we're going to replace the mainboard of the Upmini 2 Tier Times latest 3D printer. If this is your first time with us, we'd love to have you subscribe as we're going to be doing a lot more Upmini 3D printer videos in the near future. So we're going to be replacing the mainboard and the first thing you're going to need to do is push back the platform, raise it up and then I wedged it up with a piece of foam that came with the original packaging. Turning it round you'll notice there's three screws which are going to hold on the piece of sheet metal and there's a 3D printed clip which secures the ribbon. Now this ribbon is the power for the heated bed so be careful when you're removing it as it is very delicate. I highly recommend the use of a magnetic screwdriver as the screws are really fiddly and the next job you'll have to do is push the little grommet inside and carefully remove the sheet metal cover and remove it from the front side up and then pull it out the back. So the first main task is to remove all the little jumper cables that have things like limit switches, extruder motors and the power to the board. There's also some really delicate ribbon cables and don't forget to flick up the little plastic clip which allows them to be removed easily. They can be removed by force but it's not recommended. Once all the cables are removed, then you're going to have to remove the main CPU board. Do this carefully and bear in mind that there's a Wi-Fi antenna on the top right hand corner. So don't try and rip that out of the machine because um, something bad will happen. If you watch last minute's 5 minute Friday, I go through the process where I find out my extruder motor isn't working. So I sent off to tier time, they sent me a new board, but for all I knew it could have been this tiny little CPU mini board which could have been the problem. So do bear that in mind that the main board and the CPU board are ordered separately from a part supplier or if it's a warranty call, make sure you mention that to your supplier. Four screws next to remove the board. So magnetic screwdriver time again, carefully remove those and take the board out making sure you don't damage any of the ribbon cables again. I had a quick inspect of the board and I noticed there are a few solder bridges on some of the stepper motor drives which could have been part of the problem. Don't forget to remove the SD card as you're going to need that on the new main board. So take that out. Reassembly isn't difficult, it's just the reverse of the first process but it is fiddly so I recommend not screwing the board down and working on the ribbon cables first and these these plastic clips that I was talking about so ribbon cables first. And I'd probably start with the one in the top right hand corner which is the heated bed cable. That is really really fiddly and you're looking for a nice positive click when the plastic clip goes down. Anything that feels spongy probably isn't connected. After that it's just a case of putting in all of the plugs and fair play to tier time excellent design because you, they're all colour coded and you can't put them in the wrong place because of the different sizes. So nice easy design there. Home stretch now, the CPU subboard goes in next, make sure you push it down nice and square and then it's just putting in the steel cover so put it in uh, rear first, push down the front, put in the grommet and then the ribbon cable which caused so many problems make sure that you get that under the 3D printed plastic clip. Next it's time to test, check all the things like auto calibration works and here's some video of it. We'll cover this more in our full review of the upcoming 3D printer. Oh, that's a nice touch and that's it the main board was installed it happened to fix my problem so fair play to Denford who were the UK supplier and um, more coming on the Upmini 2 so let us know in the comments if you've had any problems with the Upmini 2 or if you've got any fixes or recommendations for anything you might have spotted that I've done wrong or I could have done better it's always good to hear and if you haven't already do subscribe to the channel we're doing videos every Wednesday and Friday now we've got loads more 3d printer content home CNC CAD cam all that good stuff so we'll look forward to seeing you in future videos bye for now